So recently then, when it comes to news for Marvel Future Revolution, it's most definitely coming in fucking fast. We have regular new gameplay videos for the game, and we have regular tweets on the official account as well. Now, we had uh, a new video the other day. It was only one minute long. I will show off in this video. It was only one minute long, but it actually revealed three brand new villains and two brand new heroes, and the two new heroes are pretty big hitters. I say they're pretty big hitters. They're absolutely huge hitters, the ones that were revealed. So it's pretty amazing that they drop things like this just in a little one-off video. So what we'll do is I'll show off that video and then once we've done that I'll go in and I'll break it down because some of the, the segments in it they really are blank and you miss it. So let's start with the video first. So we'll start off with all the different Iron Man suits. I've slowed this way down. You've got your standard suit to start off with here. Next up, the Mark 45, I believe. You've then got the Midgardian suit. You've got the Nova Corp suit. We have the Gladiator up next. You've then got Hydra, which looks amazing. Mark 85. Then you have Model 1. You've got Model 42. Model 43, that's a stealth one. Model 45. You have the ultimate suit, and then finishing up, you have the superior one here. So, a whole lot of suits there. Following on from the Iron Man costumes, then we had a montage of various different villains. We've seen Thanos and Red Skull. We've seen them before, so I'm not going to bring up the clips for them at all. We did get this particular villain here. I have no idea who it is. I did initially think it was Apocalypse, and that's what most of Twitter believed it to be as well, but Danny Coos confirmed it's not Apocalypse. I don't know if it's an original character or who it is. Really, if you get any idea, then do let me know in the comments below. With this next screenshot here, I've seen many people believing it would be Hulk, and that is correct to a sense, but if we actually zoom in on it, and in a moment we'll look at another image, we can see it is in fact Maestro. So we don't have Hulk confirmed as a an actual playable hero yet, and I'm pretty certain that will happen, but we've got him confirmed as a villain in the form of Maestro. The character that he's grabbing in this screenshot, I'm pretty certain that it is actually Iron Man wearing the, the Gladiator uniform that we looked at earlier on. But let's check out a, a better image of Maestro that we actually have, and this came from social media. So this here gives you a much better look at that show art style they'll be going for for this version of Maestro and it looks to be completely spot on and to be honest just about all the, the images I've seen for the various different heroes and villains with one exception, Black Dwarf who has a really small head so it makes him look like somebody cosplaying in a suit for him instead but with the exception of that I would say they've, they've done really well in regards to the art style and I'm really liking it but that's Maestro so let's see what we've got next. So this is a first new hero reveal here, it's not confirmed if at the point the game actually comes out at launch if it'll be a playable launch character or perhaps it'll just be an NPC but in this blink and you miss it clip we can see Thor was slamming down his hammer, firing lightning everywhere so yeah we've got Thor in the game, once again whether or not that means he'll be playable at launch I'm not quite sure but the fact he's in the game and we see him in the trailer that's really pretty awesome. So we have our second brand new hero here, like Thor, we've got no idea if this means they'll actually be playable at launch or it'll be playable at all, but I'm pretty sure they will be the fact they have shown them, it's just whether or not they'll be a, a launch character or they will come out later on, but we've got Vision as well, so pretty amazing that in a minute long trailer they dropped all these different villains so far, we've talked about Maestro, we've looked at Thor a second ago, and now we've got Vision as well, absolutely amazing. Let's jump in and let's see what's next here. 
So for this villain, we have had information on them before, but I've seen a lot of people asking who they were when I previously talked about them, and since then we've had your 100% confirmation. So it is indeed Ultron, the specific variant of Ultron, it's Earth 5469, and we know of the game it's going to be about all different universes that are actually classing together. So we had Ultron featured in here, and yes, we did know about him, but this is 100% confirmation which version of Ultron it actually is. So that's everything of interest that was included within the video there, but since I've last talked about Marvel Future Evolution, we've had a lot of social media posts that have got a lot of new juicy information on it, so we're actually going to run over that in this video as well. So this image you can see here, it came up, it was a few weeks ago, and I actually done a video talking about it. So it had three new villains revealed in it. We had Kingpin, Nebula, and we had a character behind Nebula. We weren't actually sure who that character was, but since I'd done that video and I've talked about it, we've had confirmation that is indeed Armin Zola. The, the design, once again, looks absolutely spot on for this one. Next up then, we had another villain spotlight. We had Ancient Groot that was revealed on Twitter. I don't know much about Ancient Groot. My knowledge of Groot is basically the, the one that's been in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, but this does look pretty great design-wise anyway. We then had this image here for Colour Obsidian, also known as Black Dwarf. This is one I was talking about earlier on. I think it's the, the first design so far that I don't actually like, and I think it's really down to the fact that the size of his head just looks far too small. So, not a fan of this at all. Let me know if I'm being a bit picky or you think this does look a bit odd in the comments below. So we have one more image here relating to the heroes and villains and we'll look at a few images of some of the new biomes. So this one here has actually got a new potential hero or villain. It's not clear which alliance they'll have but if we work our way from left to right here with the silhouettes you have Black Widow, next to Black Widow you have Captain America. We then have Red Skull, Ultron, in the back there we've got Thanos and then just below Thanos you can see our new character reveal that is Ares the God of War and once again it's not clear if he'll be an actual hero or villain because this screenshot has a mixture of hero and villains. The uh, rest of the villains, just so you know, you've got Modok there, then you've got Spider-Man, you've got Star-Lord, and then you've got Doctor Strange on the right as well there. So yeah, the character reveals coming exceptionally freaking fast. It's almost every few days they're confirming either a new hero or a new villain. Now let's just finish up here by looking at some of the, the artwork from some of the biomes that will be available in the game. So this first image, we have actually seen gameplay of this, but it's nice to see some concept art of it as well. It gives us a larger idea of how the biome will actually look. So this is Sakaar. This is where Hulk went to in the Thor Ragnarok movie, and also in World War Hulk or Planet Hulk. I always confuse the two of them. I think it possibly would have been Planet Hulk in the first instance. But yeah, this is Sakaar, and it does look pretty great. We then have what you would think is Valhalla, but it's actually called Midgardia. The reason being that, according to the lore in this game, Valhalla has actually been destroyed, and this is essentially being built up again in a new location. And you can see that because it looks a lot more primitive. There's not as many buildings that are outside the, the main actual castle as well there. So yeah, it's pretty nice that it's a, a new spin on what we're, we're used to with Valhalla. So the final image we have here, this is of Sandar. You can see that you've got Thanos' ship in the background there. So this, according to what we know at the moment, it looks like Sandar's potentially destroyed by Thanos, and then they have to start again on a, a new world, similar to how the Asgardians have to actually do. So that's everything we found out there. Because news is coming so fast in this game, I might actually look to do something like a, a weekly recap of everything we've found out. If you do want me to do that, then let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to be doing a lot more content for this game. It's going to have a lot of heroes coming to it, which means I can do a lot of my beginners and advanced guides, which I'm actually really looking forward to. So if you're looking forward to that kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be there when it actually comes out. But thanks for tuning in for this video. Let me know what you think of everything we've seen about the game so far and stay safe and I'll see you all again soon.